so um today I find I found out what my thyroid problem is. It's called Hashimoto thyroiditis, which is weird because <clears throat> technically it people are misdiagnosed with either like depression or stuff like that. But for me, it was Hashimoto thyroiditis. If you go to Wikipedia and look it up, it'll tell you all the symptoms, all the ways to do it. And I'm actually about to take two of my pills, because these are for the insulin, the little tiny one, which I will probably be showing you, like, tomorrow morning or something, because that's when I'll do the vlog. I'll do it on my, like, on, like, my way to school or something. Like, these are my... Okay, for the first week, because it's been exactly one week since I've been at the hospital, it... It was take one insulin pill every day, but for about a week, and then take two a day for the rest of the time. So, I'm about to take these, and yeah, we're going to have steak for dinner. But, I don't think I'll ever be able to have school lunch again, or not very often, because we still have to talk to like the cook and stuff, because with the medicine... You're not allowed to have soybean oil, and with the stuff they serve us at school, it's, like, almost all vegan, which does have soybean oil in it, so now I just have to watch what we buy and what I eat because of the soybean oil. But due to the high insulin, that's more for the weight gain and stuff because, like I said in two other vlogs, insulin is a natural sugar that your body makes, and in my case, it's just making too much of it. So, like, if you, you know, like, if you eat a lot of candy, you'll get, like, lot, like, fatter from it. Or, like, lots of junk food and stuff, because it has, like, lots of sugar and stuff in it. Well, in my case, my body's just making too much sugar. Because I don't really eat that much candy. Unless it's Halloween, then I'll eat probably the, that's probably when I eat the most out of it. But I know that recently I've been craving candy for some really, really odd reason. But just, like, little stuff, like a Rolo. Or something, so... Like, last night... Like, I had the wrapper right here that I was actually about to throw away. Like, last night, I had a Reese's. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, and I found these awesome earrings that I already had. I don't know. I, yes, I have my ears pierced, but I rarely ever wear earrings. Like, I found these awesome earrings last night. They're hang down, and they're spiders. If you can see it. So yeah, if you hear what's in the background, it's Rugrats, which I don't really think you could see it right now, but yeah. So that's all I can say for now. And my cat hasn't been feeling very well recently. Because like, she has like, this lump in her belly, which I really don't know why. But I think we're going to take her to the vet soon to see what that is, because... Yes, she's been fixed, but I've heard of people who they think it's gotten fixed, and then uh, a few years after they get it, it, get, it actually has kids because they didn't fix it. They just, like, s cut it and then sewed it back up. So, yeah, we're going to find out what that is, and if she does have kittens, we're just going to, I think we're just going to let it, like, progress until she has it. But then we won't be able to keep the kittens because we wouldn't be able to afford them, so. We may be able to keep one. May. Maybe. So, yeah, but, like, we wouldn't, like, put them down or anything. But if the shelter wouldn't be able to take them, we'd keep them until we were able to sell them or whatever. But we don't believe in killing animals. So, yeah, this is all I have to say for today. Um, bye.